you ever heard a thought that you didn't know exists? Pay attention, cause God and the devil's in the mix. They all spent your thought. We call them mind brain. Cause if the voice is talking to you, then it's time to change. The one got a soul, the truth is they don't know. What you here for? You here for? We all been told to do God's work. The devil put it first. Life to birth, hip in the hill, but we choose the worst. Thank you. 
to give heed, to be on guard. Come on. Do you know when Jesus, we was talking about forgiving as God's people. You got to watch that you don't have all kind of stuff in your heart. You got to watch that you may be children of the most high God because we're living in some perilous time, church. People are falling. By the way, we're going to talk about watching and praying. Not only do you need to watch and pray, we're going to find in the scripture today that there are four watch that God talked about in his word. Sometimes we think that coming to church on Sunday is the only time I need to watch. No, 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 no. You need to watch seven days a week. All kind of hours. Because remember, the devil, the adversary, he's like a roaring lion, seeking who he may what? Devour. Luke 12, 38, and it reads like this. We're going to talk about with the servants. Come on. You can be in the Lord, and you can so easily find yourself not in the Lord no more if you're not what? So careful. If you're not what? Come on. Spiritually minded. Come on. If you're not watching and praying, come on. If you're not looking for the what right direction which to take you, go. God's word is what? Instruction. The Bible said that there was faithful servants and there was some evil servants. God, when he come back, he's coming for a church that's watching for Jesus coming. Not only do we are to watch and pray, but you're to watch out for your own soul. That's not another Jesus' job. That's your job. He already did it for us. Come on. In other words, you got to work out your own salvation every day with fear and trembling. In other words, you got to watch every day. Every day when you wake up, your outward appearance, the outward man is dying. Come on. The last enemy that mankind will face is death. I went over to my sister's house. She's in a battle between cancer, life, and death. They said she was waiting on somebody. And her sister them down from Georgia, and they said she must be waiting on you, Pat. And I go to her, she can't even speak now. So it's Sister McBride, and she is so small. But now, what are we saying? The real man is not her flesh. In the flesh, she don't want to depart from this life. She still, they gave her Friday, but she's still here. I had to leave. <laughs> she's down to about 60 some pounds. And hospital is there. And they said they don't know what she's waiting on. And I come in there. Her sister said, she waiting on you? She said, ugh. I was over there. She can't speak no more. You're to walk from the time that, from three weeks ago, this woman was still cooking her own food. When I went to my house three weeks ago, she was on the walk and opened the door. After that, her body got weak because it had spread. And she refused to take the work. surgery, but it was too late by the time they, they found it. But her soul... She never stopped or reading the word. She kept doing for herself until three weeks ago. Come on. So when I got ready to leave, the last enemy that Jesus said would be defeated is death. And guess what? The last enemy to us is death. <laughs> Don't nobody want to leave out of this physical body. Come on. Come on. We don't want to die. But spiritually minded people that is born again of Jesus Christ's spirit, we don't die. Right. And then when God began to give me the revelation, we said, Mama, you all right? Because she's a friend. We've seen God work many miracles. We've seen God raise a lady that was brain dead. Now she need a miracle. Well, God can still change her. I left because I don't want to be over there because sometimes people faith don't go beyond what man say. Come on, it go what doctors say. So, but I'm still praying. I begin to tell her family about the miracles that God did. And this, this, and that. And, and, they, and they witnessed some of it. So, what are you saying? Now, she's still here. I call her son. I'm looking for God. Another preacher came and anointed her with all. He's still believing for a miracle. God can change. Or, God can allow her to go on. But the thing about it, her soul even in your sickness, even in your adversities, in your trouble, you got to watch and pray for your soul. Come on. Come on. Come on. So now the last enemy that will be defeated, the book of Revelation said death. That's the last enemy. But see, we don't have to defeat death. Death has already been defeated through 
through Jesus Christ to the believers. All right. Only thing about us, it become an enemy to us because of our flesh. Because we don't want to what? Leave in the flesh. Jesus said, this cup, he didn't want to leave. Come on. Come on. He didn't want to leave. Come on. He didn't want to leave. He didn't want to depart. Well, what are you talking about? So many of us, we are not watching and praying. We watch what we're playing. You think you're going to be here all your life? No. No. Some parents of in the day, their children left for their parents. Come on. Come on. Some parents leave for their children. We just don't know what evil will come upon us in these days. That's why you got to be watching and praying. You got to watch and pray. As we begin to talk out of the book of Luke, come on, in the 12th chapter, the Bible said that blessed, come on, are those servants whom the Lord, when he come, shall find watching. Come on. Not only do you have to watch when you go through affliction and sickness and misfortune in this life and you go through a lot of trials and trouble but you still got to walk watch and pray because the real man is not your physical body the real person is your spiritual man and that's what Christ is coming back it says she keep looking up so why is she looking up because the angels came when Jesus was in the garden of the assembly he didn't want to depart out of this fleshly body and the Bible said that Jesus what Prayed so hard that sweat fell off his head like drops of blood. And it said that the angels came and strengthened him. He was touched by the feeling of our what? Infirmity. Infirmities. Come on. That he didn't want to depart from us from this fleshly body, but he knew who he was and who he was and why he came and why he had to go back. Come on. That he did what he said, my father, in this cup. Now I got in that cup that he was talking about was bitterness. Come on. That's the last enemy. It was death. Come on. In this cup. And he said, nevertheless, that thy will, my will, but let your will be done. He had to drink of that cup. And there are some cups in our life that we have to drink. Let the church say amen. amen. Come on and clap your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why you gotta be one watching and praying. But because Jesus defeated the enemy, come on, on the cross. Not only that, but when the real, the real division came, when he got up the third day, the Bible said he conquered what? Death. So the last enemy will have to be death. Because we know that Satan is what? Death. Come on. He know his home is hell, and that's what? Death. And see, believers, born again believers, we are not what? Death. The Bible said to be absent. From the body is to be present with the Lord. Come on. The Bible said the last enemy is death because he know that his home is doomed. He know that his home is in hell. And everyone that follow and believe is what? His trinket, reels, and scam and wicked devices. That's where they will go because when they reject the plan of salvation, the eternal one, the holy one, the holy lamb of God, the only one that defeated and conquered death on the cross, the only one. Because this world is going to deteriorate. 
make him ruler over all that he had. But if that servant say in his heart, my Lord, do delay his coming and die. It talks about some night and die. That one started out with the Lord and they weren't watching and praying and began to beat the men servants and the maidens and to eat and to drink and to be drunk and to go back out there into the world. She that was specifying for sit fit, talking to the church. Yes, he was. My Lord, then the Lord of that servant will come in a day when you're looking out for him. I'm tired of people saying, once saved, always saved. Sound like me. The servant lost his direction. He lost his way to go. He looked not for him. When you're not looking for the Lord, that's when he coming. In an hour when he's not aware, he will cut him in a sunder and will appoint his portions with the unbelievers. Maybe talking about the church and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, not a did according to his will. Shall he be with many strikes? I use my sister. She's still fighting the good fight of faith. I'm trying to say that we had no idea that neither did she that she was going to be afflicted with this sickness sometime you don't know what's getting ready to come upon you that's why you gotta watch and pray the Bible said that Jesus said he was one of my servants he got into a comfort zone but he knew not and then commit them things uh, worthy of stripes uh, to be beat with a few stripes uh, but shall be much required uh, to will mean that committed much uh, or him when they ask the boat uh, well uh, he said I come to send fire uh, on the earth uh, what will I uh, if it already be kindled uh, I don't know about nobody else uh, Mark uh, the 13th uh, and the 35th chapter uh, it's dangerous uh, and pray and think that you got it all together. It's dangerous not to watch and pray and ask God to lead you down the right path. There's some paths, there's some places we ain't got no business going. There's some people, they start out with the Lord. If they would have been watching, you got to be always watching and praying like the Lord coming back for you every day. That man the Lord coming, duh. and when he coming, duh. he coming in an hour, duh. when you're looking out for him, duh. but people that are ready, duh. when you're ready in the Lord, duh. you'll live every day duh. like the Lord is coming, duh. you'll be watching duh. and praying every day duh. praying duh. that you may die to the flesh duh. praying duh. that I may live a holy life, duh. praying That you didn't know exist Pay attention cause God and the devil's in the mix They all spent your thought We call them mind brain Cause if the voice is talking to you Then it's time to change The one got a soul The truth is they don't know What you here for You here for We all been told To do God's work The devil put it first Life to birth Heaven to hell But we choose the worst